as Sister Bryant said, I know some of y'all have been through some things out there. I know that I have. And I know that God's been to you, and he's brought you out of those things. And the only thing that you can do is look back over your shoulder and say, look where the Lord has brought me from. Look where. Come on, church, let's enjoy the Lord. Come on, let's have church. Get on your feet. Come on now. Look well. Oh, yes. And what he do? Oh, yeah. Listen, you don't know how glad. Glad that he brought me through it. Hey, if you don't want to hold him. Serve the Lord, just hold my mule. Come on, everybody. Now, what he do? Now, here's the shot part. Now, did he save your soul? Did he bring you out of darkness? Save my soul. Hallelujah. And he did what? Oh. One more time. Look well. Come on, come on, come on. So he brought me. He kept you. He saved you. He done made you. So come on, soprano, sing. Go, girls. Sing, girls. Let me hear your altos. Yeah. Now, where my chin is at? Everybody sing. Ain't they sounding good in here, church? Yeah. So glad. Come on, Monica. Church. Did it bring you out, church? Good morning. Good morning. 
On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Mitchell Walker, elders and officer of Church Street, we'd like to welcome our family and friend who is joining us on Facebook Live, Periscope, teleconference call, or YouTube, and here with us in the sanctuary. Today we are celebrating on the fourth Sunday in October something very special. Today is the 20th anniversary of our pastor, Dr. Mitchell Walker. We've been celebrating all month, and he's enjoying it. I can see it by his face. It's a little bigger than it was before October, but he's enjoying it. So today, as we worship today, we want to keep in mind why we're here. And that is to serve God first and to celebrate the man that he appointed to lead this flock here on Church Street CPCA. We'd like for you to join us at Bible study, Sunday school, and for, for, for more information, please visit our website at churchstreetcpca.org. We're asking that we please pray for our sick and shut-in, people impacted by COVID-19 and the bereaved. Please stay in contact with them by postcards, social media, telephone, a social visit, which is by distance. We need each other more now than ever. And as we go through this service today, we're asking for a special blessing upon a Garner, Chief Garner. He's sick, and I think he's at home, or maybe moved to or somewhere else, but we're asking for special prayer for him. And also the one that was not mentioned, Sister Renee and Edward William, in the loss of his sister. I call the worship. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre and with the lyre and the sign of melody, with trumpets and the sign of the horns. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar. And all that is filled, it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the earth with righteousness and the people with equity. Psalms 98 verse nine, 4 through 9. Let us pray. Here we are, Lord. We come in your house this morning, praising your faithfulness, giving thanks for your mercy, seeking your joy. Thank you for creating us and giving us life and breath today. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, and for the Holy Spirit, who's present here, unite us as your people. Fill us with your peace today. Amen. Our scripture reading today in the Old Testament is coming from Isaiah 42, verses 1 through 4. Isaiah 42, verses 1 through 4. Here is my servant, who am I, who I uphold my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nation. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smothering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness 
he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. And his teaching, the island will put their hope. The New Testament reading coming from 1 Peter, 5th chapter, verse 1 through 4. Fifth chapter of First Peter, verse one through four. To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's suffering, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must but because you are willing as God wants you to be. Not pursuing this son is gain, but eager to serve. Not lowering it over those entrusted to you, but being an example to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will see the crown of glory that will never fade away. These are the words of God for the people of God. May God have a blessing to his red word. May we pray. Lord, today we call your faithfulness. Thank you that you walk with us every day. That you are with us in each moment. Thank you that you prom your promises are true and your goodness never fail us. In this moment, we come to you and we lay our lives before you. May we worship and adore you with every fiber of our being. May everything with us cry, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And as so today, we join with all those who worship and confess you as Lord from generation past and present and with all the angels that sing in heaven of your greatness and beauty. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we love you. Lord, you are so precious to us. Lord, we want to thank you for our pastor. He is a blessing to our church and the community. We want to thank you for the great sacrifice he made to ensure that we grow spiritually. Lord, continue to prosper him and his word. Lord, continue to grant him the wisdom needed to teach your word in a way that brings people closer to your son, Jesus Christ. Please help him to operate in knowledge and understanding as he goes through life's challenge and this pandemic. Keep him as only you can. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we do believe and pray. Amen.
worship you. Dust. With my 
one spirit of the earth. Who I was made. I was made to talk of His praises. Who was you? I was made with my hands and my feet to bless Your name.
what you done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. I was created to worship you, but I failed, but you still were faithful, Lord. I just say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being God and God alone. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I can't help it, but I just got to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being so faithful, even in this time when we don't know what's going on. You still there. Lord, we love Lord, you're faithful. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, 
you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, you're a good God. You're a great God. And Father, we just want to say thank you this day. Father, you know what I'm thinking. I might not get it out, but I'll just say thank you. Thank you. Father, this morning, we have an occasion that we're celebrating, which is our anniversary. And we have something unique. We have something unique to, for this occasion. And so, just hold on to your thought. Because we got something just for you for this occasion. Good, good, good. Well, first of all, I would love to know how you felt when you heard that October was the Mitchell and Elaine Walker month. Well, that was uh, that was surprising, shocking. It was uh, it was well, I was it brought I came down here on Saturday um, before the first Sunday, and when I drove up in the parking lot, I saw the big banner, and I thought. Wow, the month <laughs> really? <laughs> so it was, it was, it was, it was uh, joyful, uh, surprisingly. Good, yeah, good. yeah. I good. say the same. It is, it has really, really been a boost yeah. and yeah. excitement and um, <laughs> for, uh, special time yes. for this time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know that you're appreciated. Are there yeah. any times when sometimes the going gets rough and you may not feel appreciated? As a pastor, and over 20 years, I know there's been ups of and course, downs. Of course not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you know, there, there are times. I mean, uh, pastoring is, is like the seasons of um, life in any other respect, in marriage or work or school or anything. You know, you have your highs and your lows, your, your better days and your other days. Uh, you know, days of challenges and days when uh, you're celebrating. And so uh, it's a mixture of all things. Uh, so, yeah, you know, there are those days when you wonder uh, if it matters. And I think that's that's uh, what uh, Isaiah, even the prophet said, uh, you know, Lord, uh, uh, to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? And, you know, wondering whether or not... Uh, what you're doing really does matter. Does it? Is it really taking effect? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes, mm -hmm. as the support system, what are the highs and the lows for you, Mrs. Walker? <laughs> His highs and lows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, it does. It it it, 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 uh, it does affect you uh, as a family unit. You know, uh, it's just like uh, this whole week, this whole month has lightened the load from those things that he has had to be involved with on a on a regular basis so at home it has really been so cheerful to see all the things he's you know he's seeing you know and enjoying and and appreciating it has just been absolutely wonderful, wonderful. that is great so you know that that, that that's a high um, but we also know about the, the lows, you know, uh, in the, the ministry itself, you know, it comes those times, but you do, you, you, uh, bear together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let's flash back 20 years when you... I've been like a child all month. I like, bet you have. I, I thought about when we were driving here today, my, our, our son, uh, J.R., uh, he started when he was very young, started, his birthday is May 12th. And so he would celebrate all month. So wherever we went out to eat, he thought it was his decision all month. And so this has been a uh, this has been a, a good, uh, joyful, joyful month. It has. Very good. Now I want to talk a little bit about the um, installation service because that was a pretty grandiose time too. If this you know month has been exciting, but I just remember 
Um, you know, we had a special time to clean the church before you know, <laughs> I wasn't here then. Yeah, speak and span. Um, you know, we had, I almost want to say a dramatic production. I seem to remember Lady Tucker singing this song about there's a union. Do you all remember union. that? Remember union, you remember that? Yes. And uh, so there was the idea that, you know, this is something we're all going to be in for the long haul together. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk a little bit. 20 <laughs> years and we hope many, many more. Let's talk about the long haul, the long haul in a marriage. Mm -hmm. long haul between pastor and congregation of course our lifelong relationship with Christ yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it's a commitment it's a covenant commitment I mean to get a pastor's relationship to a church is like a marriage it's just a union the, the song that, that uh, Lady uh, Tucker sang uh, in um, uh, with uh, the union, there's going to be, be a union, union something, something like, like that. that. But it was a spiritual. Yeah, it was, so it was, it was great. The, yeah, it was great. I mean, it was so appropriate. Mm -hmm. It was very appropriate. It was. Uh, and like with any union, in any relationship, you know, you go through uh, your seasons. <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I, I think you know to say that you know we have not had some 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 challenges and would would be revisionist history. So you know, but you grow through those things. I mean, those things. Help. I mean, God allows everything to come into our lives to continue to perfect us, to mature us, uh, so that we become even um, better informed and better transformed uh, to do His will, uh, what he, His purpose in us is. So, um, yeah, that that uh, that was a great uh, great occasion. I, I can remember that we had we had actually had some people came from uh, family members that came. Uh, mm -hmm. We had uh, some uh, former church members from the, my prior church that came, and mm -hmm. who was family from here that that was here that, that were present. And uh, when, when I remember when I when I when I arrived and uh, on the desk in the church office, uh, they had put together uh, kind of a, a, a book that had all of the had a lot of information about the city and about the church, and uh, so that was my orientation manual. <laughs> <laughs> I probably think I probably still have. I think I still have that. Matter of fact, I think when we moved over here, I, I still, I still, have, I found that that I still had it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Uh -huh, and yeah. so, Mother Walker, you uh, have been through some physical and health trials, oh, and yeah. at the same time as your husband is ministering to the rest of the world, you also mm -hmm. need ministering to. And can you just talk about where you find the strength within yourself to do what you have to do? Well, you know, um, finding the strength through the word that mm -hmm. he preaches, you know, um, and then to read it myself and to believe it myself, you know, and have the faith in it. But uh, um, when you go back and you were talking about uh, the relationship of pastor to church, it is a marriage. Mm -hmm. It is a marriage. Uh, I don't want to um, minimize what that really does mean. Uh, I was going back to thinking about during this time that we have been out, that we took, uh, I don't know how many Sundays, driving around trying to find where people were living oh. because of that, that compassion that he has for uh, wanting to see the people and connect with them because um, whenever anybody had surgery, if it was possible or a procedure, if it's possible, he's there. And that's two o'clock in the morning, mm. getting up so he could be there at four. You know, those, those uh, things that a pastor does. And that's what I call him. He's, he's a pastor, not, not a preacher, mm -hmm. not just a preacher. You can preach, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he's a pastor. Mm -hmm. He's a pastor. So, yeah, it does affect, you know, us and, 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 and things that I go, have gone through, that we have gone through, that has affected, you know, times mm -hmm. uh, there. But I've always known about the love for the church. Mm -hmm. Because you you signed up for that. You were a pastor. So, I mean, you were called when you were four, yeah. something like that. So mm -hmm. now you definitely were marrying a man of God. Uh -huh. yeah. So has any of this surprised you, you know, from when you were bright I've eyes, had, I've had, some, bride. I've had a few surprises. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had a few surprises. <laughs> Truth be told, yeah, 
Yeah, some of but but not 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 really. Okay. Yeah, not not really. And how long did you all date before you were married? Uh two years. Okay. Two years. So you had a good idea what mm. you were getting. Oh yeah, yeah. And he yeah. was a pastor when he, you he all was pastoring the small church. I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you saw his love for the congregation. Oh yeah. The, mm -hmm. the type of time commitment and what that would mean me, for uh -huh. you know some people say, well, what time is left over for me? Or uh -huh. you better uh -huh. make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because you knew that from the beginning. Yeah, and yeah. that's what you wanted. Uh huh. And I, yeah, I love the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, you know, in in in, in the church, um, but still, yet yeah, some of it, yeah, I, I don't know what could prepare you, f you know, for when it, you know, for it all. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. And we didn't talk so much about the building, but let's get a little bit of that on record because uh, <laughs> we talked about it being a process. Yeah. But but now that we're here and it's a beautiful facility, a little bit about, you know, the campaign to get it. And now that we're in it, you know, how do you see us utilizing it and going forward? Well, the Lord really, the Lord really blessed us. He, he brought us through all of the uh, challenges that we had to get to where we are opened the doors that we needed both within and and without and we were able uh, by God's help and provision to uh, construct this facility he gave us a great builder um, you know and, and, you know we've been in now uh, two years this month and uh, you know we and we haven't had any major matters that that have that have arisen so that's a, that's a good thing yes. um, and um, it's 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 both good for what we have been able to do that we could not have accommodated in the smaller in the old church. Mm -hmm. uh, so because we have more space, so we've been able to to uh, accommodate more that people that the members have wanted to do but could not do. I mean, just having a kitchen and a fellowship hall mm -hmm. <laughs> that we did not have and not have to borrow the next door facility mm -hmm. has been a blessing. Uh, and, and we've been able not only to utilize it more from within, from our ministry uh, standpoint, but also from our connection with the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so. allowed uh, groups to come in yeah. and they have utilized mm -hmm. our, mm -hmm. our facility, whether that was a, mm -hmm. an event that they needed the sanctuary for because we're centrally located downtown, mm -hmm. or whether that's for some smaller group that needed to utilize uh, the fellowship hall or maybe this conference room mm -hmm. or uh, for a meeting once on, a, on, a, on an occasion. Uh, so from both what we do from within, uh, but also making sure that we make the church available for those with, on the outs for outside in the community mm -hmm. is critically important. I am Theodore Sacklin, the moderator of the General Assembly of the Cumberland Presbyterian Church in America. To Dr. and Mrs. Walker, I bring you greetings from the office of the General Assembly. As you celebrate 20 years of service, I'm reminded of the words of the Apostle Paul that he wrote in Philippians 1 and 6. He who has begun a good work in you shall continue it until the day of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 3.15, the word of God states that God has given us pastors after his own heart. Dr. Walker, you have the heart of a pastor. You have the heart of a servant. You're on the wall. You're doing a great work. Do not come down. Hello, I'm Barbara Clemens, and I bring you greetings this morning from the Huntsville Presbytery of the Cumberland Presbyterian Church in America. I just want to congratulate uh, Dr. Walker, Mrs. Walker, and the Church Street family for 20 years of being together. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 2.10 this, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. I know and you know and many people who, who serve in the ministry of the Lord realize that 
that 20 years will, was probably not easy. We have a lot of trials and tribulations and ups and downs, but I want to applaud you for how you have stayed together. I applaud you for your dedication and for your commitment to the Lord, and I believe that that will pay off. Listen, let me encourage you, let me encourage you right now that God has found favor in you and that he will continue to bless you and hold his arms around you. Pastor Walker, keep doing the good work of the Lord because it will pay off. Church Street, listen, God loves you. He will lead you, he will keep you, and he will guide you. And there is no way that any of us can lose if we stay with the Lord. Congratulations, 20 years? I look forward to maybe greeting you again in the next 20 years. So I pray that God will bless you, that he will continue to hold his arms around you, and that he will keep you in his care. Congratulations. I'm glad that voice came up. I came back to tell you that for this occasion, Sister Karen Stanley is the one that did the interview, and we appreciate her for taking the time to do the occasion for our pastor and first lady. It is my honor. It is my honor to speak uh, words this morning. And my task is to introduce the speaker. Now, the speaker, speaker has provided information which is in the book. However, I'd like to emphasize something. Uh, our speaker, the Reverend Edward S. Robinson, Sr., has prepared to be a pastor, minister, Preacher. He's a graduate of the American Theological Seminary in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, you notice real soon here that he says about himself that he has been the pastor of the Ple Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church in Cleveland, Tennessee for 41 years. Surely the Lord has been faithful. Just as he has been faithful with Dr. Walker in his tenure here at Church Street. I listened to the song and it just reminded me of how faithful the Lord is. But the Reverend Robinson and his wife, uh, Mrs. Uh, Edwina Harris Robinson, have two sons. Edward Jr. and Edwin Robinson. They are blessed with one granddaughter and four grandsons. Now, in looking at the information that he provided, the short words, I say, he's a man of few words, but he sums it all up. His most valuable accomplishment is his ability to win souls to Christ. How much service to win souls to Christ. And today we culminate a, a month of celebrating, but we've just begun the new task, a continuing task of winning souls for Christ.
How many of you know that God has been everything? Yeah. Everything. everything. Can you testify this morning and say that God has been everything? everything. Yes, everything. everything. That's right. everything. yes, he has. Hallelujah. He's been everything in our lives. And we can truly testify and say, thank you, Lord, for being on everything. Amen. And we thank you, God, for sending us Pastor Walker Amen. Yes, yes. and Mother Walker this way Amen. to serve us for these past 20 years. Amen. We don't know everything that they've been through, hmm. everything they may be going through right now. But we can say today, by the look on their faces, that you have brought them through. And they're here today, and we're celebrating and thanking you for their ministry and their life and their testimony. Because you have been there for them. You have given everything to them as a couple and the leaders of the flock of this church. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. For Pastor and Mother Walker. And so we can celebrate this morning and testify to let everyone know what God is in our lives. He's been our everything, and he's been our all in all. So we're going to sing that this morning and testify to you. Come on, gospel ensemble. Can you say God is? Hallelujah, Lord. Come on, say God is. God is my all and God is the joy and the strength of my life. That's all right. He moves all pain, misery and strife. He promised. He promised to keep me never never to leave me say you'll never you'll never never come short of his word i've got to fast and pray stay in the narrow way thank you lord i'll keep my life clean every day so you may be going through life I right now to go with him worried about when what's he coming comes next comes back don't you worry about I've nothing. Too far, God is God. And I'll never turn because back. God is. God is. God is. God is. God is. Say God is. God Say God is. God is. Celebrate what God has done in our lives. God is. Yes, God. Say God is. God is my all. Is it your all today? All. Is it your everything? God is there a witness out there that can say God is? God is. Come on, say God is. 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 My all. Is it your all?
say God is. God is. Sing it from your heart and say God is. God is. Look back where he brought you from. To where you are right now. So we can say God is. God is. God is. God some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Unto God who is the head of my life, I am so grateful to God for uh, allowing us an opportunity to be here today. I want to thank God for all that he has done in our lives and we were certainly grateful for uh, this time here with you all. It is a blessing and when we look back from where we've come from it has been God that has kept us who has brought us safe this far. Uh, we've been asked to come and share with you all as you celebrate 20 years uh, at the Church Street Cumberland Church in America. And we, we ask God to continue to bless and to keep you, keep your love and arms around your pastor. Love on him. Thank you for the introduction. And may God continue to bless your heart. Pastor Walker. Sometimes it seems like it's been longer than 20 years, and then sometimes it seems like it's just been a few years. But I will never say that it was not without years that you've been out of Cleveland. But what I do and thank and praise God for is that our fellowship and our relationship has not severed. Uh, these years has kept you here and away from the atmosphere of Cleveland, but not from us. So we are grateful for that. And uh, we, we are praising God for all that the Church Street has done for you. And we ask God to continue to bless them. We pray that you will be blessed today. And what a great time it is going to be when all of God's children get together. What a time, what a time. I want to call your attention to the scripture that we have before us today. It is taken out of 1 Peter chapter 5, and I'll begin reading at verse 2 uh, through 4 out of a King James version of the Bible. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Take the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. <clears throat> Neither has been Lord over God's heritage, but being example of the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Pray with me if you will.
Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I praise God for this opportunity that he has given to us to be able to come and to fulfill the invitation to celebrate with you the 20 years of service as pastor of the church and the community. Dr. Walker and I share a kindred bond that uh, we are, are, we as friends, and then that bond may be just friendship, or it just may be birth. Our families are family. And we praise God for Sister Walker, Toya and JR. They are our children, and we thank God for them. To hold myself accountable to the time that has been allotted me, by me, to stand before you, I need to begin the scripture passage from 1 Peter 2 and 4, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 2 and 4, have been given as a stands for those words <clears throat> and that we will attempt to say about the text and the theme. The apostle Peter does not command, but exalt. He does not claim power to rule over all pastors and church. It was the principal honor for Peter and a few more of the witnesses for Christ's suffering. But it is a privilege for all Christians to partake of the glory that shall be revealed. These poor, desperate, suffering Christians, when the flock of God redeemed to God by the great shepherd, living in the holy, loving commune according to the will of God, they are also designated and defined with a title of God's heritage, our clergy. His principal lot chosen for his own people to be enjoyed a special favor and to do him a special service. Christ is the chief shepherd of a whole flock and the heritage of God. And all faithful ministers will receive a crown of unfavoring, unfading glory, infinitely better and more honorable than all authority, wealth and the pleasures of this world. Verse 2 in our text says to us, feed the sheep, the flock of God. Feed the flock of God, which is among you. Uh, take the oversight thereof. What is it that make you get up early in the morning? Five days a week and hook up state representatives, several states, states like Michigan, Illinois, states like New Jersey and South Carolina, Georgia and Alabama. You get them hooked up, you get us hooked up and you let us come together and have greetings and laughter tears and joy. Uh, with one another, we laugh and we cry and we greet each other. And like a shrewd conductor, you get us back on the right track. And with prayer 
uh, like a good pilot. You get us to the right altitude and then safely lands us back in our morning so that we can go through the day knowing that our tanks has been filled. Feed the flock of God which is among you, not by constraint, but willingly. Someone has said, if you love what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life. And there is no person that makes you do it, Pastor. But church street members see it in you. And this is why they are doing what they are doing today. Giving honor to whom honor is due. Peter says here, uh, he does it willingly. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 17, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. Oh, my brothers and sisters today, I would have you to know that pastor wake up early in the morning to do what he does for us. I'm talking about these state representatives. He wake up early in the morning and does what he's doing for us. But really, he's doing it for God's sake. And he's doing it willingly. Paul, Peter says here, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Oh, my brothers and sisters, it's good to know that what you're doing, you're doing it because God is in the business. He's in the business of winning souls to him. And he's doing what he's doing by stirring up in us the gift that is in you. Uh, I hear Paul speaking to Timothy, stir up the gift that was in your grandma and in your mother. Well, I don't know what was in your grandma, but I all, all I know what was in your mama. Uh, she loved Jesus, and she taught you and us and those that would come around what it was to have the love of Christ down in your heart. John says here uh, in the 21st chapter, Jesus says to Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? more than these. And he said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. And Jesus says, Feed my lamb. Yes, sir, my brothers and sisters today, Pastor Bud here is guilty of feeding the flock of God. And I'm so glad that I'm a part of the flock of God that's getting fed by the trough that he has placed before Mitchell to feel. Thank God for the gospel that he puts into it. He makes it plain and he makes it clear. He keeps making it a way that we can still see Christ and all that he's saying. And the word is here, not for filthy lucre, but, uh, but of a ready mind. Paul tells us here in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, whom being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Thank God for a ready mind. Ah, oh, Mitchell, I remember when you was at St. James, uh, you had a keen and a sharp mind, but you wasn't satisfied with what you had there. You kept on bringing it to the sharpener. 
You kept on wheeling away at the rough edges until one day I heard you walk in and says, I got my doctor's degree, a sharp mind. God can use a sharp axe in a forest like what we are dealing in today. It's going to take a sharp mind to work in a situation that we were dealing in today. When you was in school, there was no signs of a COVID-19. There was no hint of a pandemic running rapids. But thank be unto God, he got your mind ready for it. Aren't you glad that God knows what's ahead? And he got you ready for that which is going on before. A sharp mind, a ready mind. God can use. And then I heard him when Paul says here in the first Corinthians 9 and 5, 25, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fade is not away. And every man that strives for the mastery is tempted in all things. Hallelujah. Now do not be obtained a, a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. I have therefore run, not as an uncertainty, so I fight, and not as one that beats the air hallelujah but I keep my body under and bring it unto subjection lest that by any means when I have preached to others I myself should be a castaway well let me tell you what I'm trying to say is that I don't know about you but I'm running hard to finish to the finish line I'm giving my everything I got no sloppy living for me I'm trying to stay alert I am in on the top condition I am not going to get caught napping telling everyone else about what it's all about and I miss it myself no I want to be there when they crown him laws of all I gotta be there when they crown him laws of all and thank God for Jesus for what he has brought us through it has been Christ that has kept us here and not we I said God has been there along the way and I just want to say thank you uh, for the service that you rendered uh, thank you for the sermons that you preach uh, uh, Monday through Friday you don't hold back on us uh, every morning we get up uh, hallelujah you make it feel like we ought to just keep on going the way you serve it up uh, we kind of ease to the ends of our seats uh, that we can almost see I can see it in my face now and in my mind's eye I can see old man Job and you sitting at the table together and Job is telling you his story of how God brought him over and I hear Job saying to you Dr. Walker excuse the dust and the ashes that's falling off of my body and I, I apologize for the order uh, that you smell in this room but I tell you they are just from the sores that I've been wrestling with uh, but you tell the story I can see you uh, sitting there in the room so I encourage you pastor to keep on telling the story tell somebody about how you can suffer but God will bring you through it 
Keep on telling somebody, although you slay me, yet will I trust in you. Keep on telling somebody that, that God is able to bring you through it. I know he's able. Is anybody here today know that he's able? I'm trying him and he's able to bring you through it make your perfect and every good work to do his will working in you that when this he will be well pleased and in his sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory and honor oh glory and honor to him. Amen. 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 To inheritance uh, incorruptible, undefiled, and that fate is not a way to receive it over there when I get home. Suffering may endure for a night, but I'm here to tell you that, that all joy cometh in the morning. Anybody here know anything about his joy? His joy, oh, his joy cometh in the morning. Thank God for your joy. We love you today. Thank God for you, Pastor. Thank God for what you allow him to do in your life. May God ever bless you and keep you. And may heaven smile upon you. We praise God for you, uh, CPCA, for the love that you've shown in this particular time, especially in this particular time, for your pastor. When it seems like the church building is empty, but the church heart is filled, and we want to thank God for that kind of love that is being shown even now uh, through you all to your pastor. May you forever love God. And, and I want you to know that God sees more into what you're doing than what you can see in it yourself. And God will reward you according to how your heart has been. No, not what, uh, what the rest of us are doing. But what did you do from your heart? God will bless you and may heaven continually smile upon you. Before we go any further, 
we'd be remiss if we didn't tell you that if you out of the ark of Satan, that we invite you to call Church Street or visit our website. If you haven't given your heart to God, if you don't feel like you're saved, if you feel like that you have slipped away, please contact us. We'll be glad to help you and point you in the right direction. And if you just need prayer, please contact us. Our phone number is 256-536-0922. Or you can email us at secretary at churchstreetcpca.org. Again, we invite you to become a part of this walk, knowing that we are on the right journey to see Christ, our Savior. We have some special presentation from my uh, anniversary committee, Elder Bernice Richardson and Deacon Lamont Reggie. Good morning. Good morning. We are happy at this time to make some presentations, but first, before I do that, I'm going to ask Deacon Lamont to come in and give us something, a real surprise. Yes. Thank you, Elder Richardson. Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, Pastor Mother Walker, you've been surprised all month yeah. by our different recognitions, tributes, and shouts with various gifts. Yeah. Um, but the uh, membership wanted to provide you something that you could also keep for a long time and share with you some of the special feelings about what we feel about you as being our pastor and our first lady. So we uh, developed a special surprise video tribute, and we want to share a little bit of that with you this morning. And so uh, we're getting ready to, to roll of the video and you get a chance to see what some of our members had to say about our pastor and our first ladies. y'all a happy anniversary and many more to come we wish you could be there but uh you know this whole coronavirus thing but we hope to see y'all soon one more time cc and mitchell happy anniversary happy. granny and grandpa see many you soon more. many more many more good evening this is henry bradford and i wanted to spend a few moments to send this video of congratulations to pastor walker and mother walker on your 20 years of service to the Church Street CPCA community and the city of Huntsville at large. Um, I remember when you both came to Huntsville 20 years ago, I was a sophomore in high school, and it doesn't seem like that time has been that long, but 20 years has really flown by. And in that time, you both have been loyal to Church Street, you've served Church Street, and you've done great things both in our church and in the community and the city. And so for that, I want to congratulate you both. And I want to say thank you for all the ways that you have had an impact on my life. Um, every time I come home, you both always ask me how I'm doing in school and how teaching is going. I really appreciate that. And I also wanted to say that uh, to you, Pastor Walker, I really appreciated it, how you really supported our family. And you were really there uh, when my grandfather passed away last year. Uh, you were always present and you were always there to make sure that my grandma had what she needed, that the family felt supported and that um, we could lean on you at any step in each part of the way. So thank you for that. Again, to you both. Um, congratulations. It's been an honor to be a part of your journey. And I wish you another happy and prosperous 20 years. And may God continue to bless you and your family. Thank you very much.
Let's give him a hand. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that you wanted to make something special for you guys. And one of those special videos, see how happy they are. So that's just a small snippet of what more And so we'll make sure we'll send that to you all so you can just avoid listening to all those tributes. So thank you, Church Street family, for your participation. And again, congratulations. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thank you, uh, Deacon Lamont. We said we would have fun. Have we had fun? Yeah. We really have. And thank you, Elder Carter, for the, being the liturgist today. Um, Pastor Walker, First Lady Walker, our essential support force in the church, <laughs> uh, members, and friends who are watching on the various platforms. The month of October has been a fantastic month for all of us here. It's been a surprising month for Pastor and First Lady, but we hope it has been an enjoyable month for all of us. Before I make the presentation, I want to express my sincere appreciation to the hardest working, most loving anniversary planning committee in the U.S., the United States. Yeah. <laughs> they lovingly made suggestions, willingly took on tasks that appeared a bit unusual. <laughs> These committee members kept you, the membership, um, informed through the various ministries of the church as to what you were supposed to do or what ask you what you wanted to do. And we thank you for doing that. A major, major, major thank you is extended to the media team of this church. You rock. <laughs> you rock. You did a wonderful job. You continue to do a wonderful job each week, each week. Because of all of these involvements, I believe this 20th anniversary month of activities could be classified as a success. Yes, yes, yes. Now to my presentation to the pastor and first lady. How do we say thank you to a pastor of 20 years? You dedicate a month to him to him and his wife. That's what you do. How do you say, I love you, pastor, of 20 years? You plan meaningful, personal activities for him and his wife. And you offer them tokens of love. And you send sincere notes of appreciation to the pastor and first lady. How do you show others that you love your pastor of 20 years. You invite them, them the clergy, state officials, local leaders, to give words of congratulations to the pastor. Or you might plan a drive-by, drive-through, and invite them to come. You also plan a worship service and ask his bestest, dearest friend to bring the anniversary message from his pulpit. <laughs> and now my final question to you is, how do you say we love and appreciate you for leading with a servant's heart during COVID-19? Well, you do it safely with masks, social distancing, virtual services, and you undergird all of this with much prayer. That is how we said it here at Church Street. Thank you, friends. Thank you, members, for saying thank you to our pastor and that we love them. Pastor and Sister Walker. Now I'd ask Pastor and First Lady Walker to join me at this time at the podium. Social distancing. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
First Lady Walker, I present to you beautiful flowers for a beautiful lady from your church. <laughs> Pastor Walker, oh my gosh, I forgot to bring the box in. But while he is accepting the box, <laughs> we have a box, of, a large box out in the foyer for Pastor Walker. And in that box, Lamont, in, <laughs> and in that box, we have a gift for Pastor Walker and a gift for another gift for First Lady Walker, as well as some joint gifts for you. We want you to know that um, these small gifts you want, um, are not necessarily the only way we could say we love you, but we want when you look at them that you will know and remember that uh, we have had 20 spectacular years together here at Church Street. So evidently Lamont has not found my present right now, but Pastor, while you are accepting it, you may make your remarks. I will. First, let me just say, um, I was made to worship because God is so faithful. Yes. You see how all that ties in? Mm -hmm. yeah. My soul doth rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. Not just to be present here, to have witnessed what occurred in spirit here, but to say thank you. Thank you to first Pastor Robinson. I know you somewhere in this building. Where are you hiding? He, no, he's not but to Pastor Robinson and First Lady Edwina, thank you for giving of your time uh, being here. And I won't start by calling off names. Uh, I'll just tell all of you, thank you so much of being a witness that in COVID-19, we give praise. In COVID-19 we give praise. I can't thank you for all the many different ways you found to do love. You did love in so many different shape forms, and I do mean shapes. <laughs> I do mean shapes. We're going to have to sh take pictures. You will not believe all the different ways, but from the bottom of our hearts, I'm simply going to say thank you to everybody who participated. All that you've done without calling names, and I want to. God bless you and God keep you. Amen. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was getting ready to hug her, but I forgot. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, let me just express our grateful appreciation to Church Street family and friends, uh, to a most wonderful anniversary committee uh, who coordinated everything that's been done to all of the ministers of the church that have uh, uh, created something in very unique ways to celebrate this month. Uh, it has been one joyous month. As a matter of fact, uh, I think y'all may have spoiled us too much this month because <laughs> we may be looking for something next month, but no. <laughs> this is the meals, the flowers, the uh, gatherings here at the, in the parking lot, uh, uh, the cards, uh, just the, the text messages, everything that has been done this, this month has just been, just been absolutely wonderful. It has encouraged us. Uh, you know, this time is, uh, is, is stressful. Um, we miss being together as a church family every Sunday. Last Sunday when I left here, I thought uh, my heart was just heavy because I said I can't see them. 
and I miss seeing our members and friends' faces every Sunday. But I am, uh, I'm so thankful that I've seen all of those that I've seen this uh, this past uh, th th this past month. This uh, in the very special ways that I had not seen you before. Thank you. The, the, I mean, I started to talk about the different things you've done. I mean, the breakfasts that were delivered, the meals that were delivered, the cakes we've eaten. I'm I'm, I'm bulging out of my clothes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the drive-through parade yesterday, the parking lot events that we've had. We've got two things that we're going to put on our walls so we make sure that we never go broke. We're going to always have a piece of money. You know, your parents used to tell you when you grow, growing up, when you go somewhere, make sure you carry a little piece of money. Well, we've got a a pizza box and uh, the dough is money and we are going to keep that and put that away for that rainy day and then we got a got a uh, picture uh, with choir members in it with our pictures in it and uh, so, so we we're fixed for a rainy day thank you so <laughs> Everything has been, it's just been fun. It's been a fun month. The music, thank you, the Gospel Ensemble this morning. Thank all the choirs all this month. Uh, Sister Deborah, thank you for coordinating everything that you've done this month. We love you and yeah, love our choirs. Ella Richardson, I, I, I just want to say thank you to this marvelous, marvelous, wonderful, loving, creative. Oh, gosh, you, you have just done an outstanding job. Thank you so very much. I appre We appreciate We appreciate you. And Elaine, let's give them a big hand. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for the box. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that, too. Thank you for the box of uh, cards and notes and uh, gifts. Uh, just just say, I, I told Elder Richards yesterday, I don't know, uh, Elder Daniels, if thank you is quite adequate, but I just want to say it again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a blessed month. I appreciate it. And Ed Robinson Bud, thank you for, I tried to figure out when you came on the screen, how did they transpose you in the pulpit? But apparently you and Ms. Robinson been to Huntsville and didn't even let us know. But uh, matter of fact, I haven't known much of anything this month. <laughs> but uh, it's been a joy. It really has. All the surprises, Brother Mark, you, you're right. The surprises have been just outstanding. So thank you. I didn't mean not keep us longer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, El Carter. Thank you. Musicians, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Oh. All right, if, if, if we'd all stand, I don't know if, the, if, if a choir got something they're going to take us out on. No. <laughs> all right, let's pray. Eternal God, our Father, we are truly grateful for your grace and your mercy, for your patience, your long suffering, your forgiveness, your kindness, your generosity. Thank you for every good and perfect gift that you bestow upon us every single day of our lives. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, you just keep on blessing us. You protect us and provide for us. You give us peace in the midst of our storms and stresses. You give us joy when we are discouraged. And so, God, we want to thank you for who you are to us. Not just what you do, but just for who you are. For such a great love for us, O oh God, that looks beyond our many faults and failures and fallacies and fallings, and you love us in spite of ourselves. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful church. Thank you, God, for the members, the officers, the ministers of this church. God, for everyone who has done something, said something, had some kind of input into what has happened this month, I ask you right now to bless them. Return to them, God, abundantly more than what they thought even to do. Thank you, Lord. Bless this church as we continue to 
be guided by your wisdom to do that in a more, most appropriate way so that we can continue to serve you and worship you and be the church in this community that you have called us to be. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for giving comfort to families in our church and throughout this community and nation who have lost loved ones. Thank you, God, for touching those who are hospitalized and in rehab facilities and who are going through physical ailments at home. We entrust everything to you, God, because we know you.